Well, you, you had uh, what many believe is the greatest tackle in the nearly 90-year history of Washington's franchise. Came on a Monday night at RFK Stadium in 1973 against the Dallas Cowboys, preventing a would-be game-winning touchdown when you stopped Walt Garrison on fourth and goal at the one in the final seconds. Where does that rank among your favorite memories from your football career? i tell you what, um, the way it has been played up over the years, uh, it was the most important uh, tackle of my career. It was the most important night of my career. And I just got traded up from the uh, Houston Oilers. So it solidified my position with my teammates there. And, uh, you know, after that, it became easy. And, you know, the league was different. The AFL was a faster league. The NFL was a slower league. So I had an opportunity to... Uh, we do a lot of things, but when it comes to ranking uh, the things that I thought were the, the greatest, I had two touchdowns by interceptions back to back against the San Diego Chargers here in Houston, and uh, nobody really knew anything about it. I have to go back and read it to make sure it was true. <laughs> there, were, there were other things, you know, that I did, but it was just it was commonplace against small black college Hall of Famers. I think one of the greatest players that me had ever lived was Otis Taylor. Mm -hmm. And he's he's a small black college Hall of Fame, but he's not in the NFL Hall of Fame. But you go to any college, any small black college, they had their share of stars and athletes. 